Hello YouTube, this is Chaos Ripper, and this is episode 29 of Spider-Man Web of Shadows. This episode is my continuation of my grind episode, but through the magic magic of editing, this episode was supposed to come out first. Yes, this was my blunder, and yeah, I, it was basically an accident, but and I honestly should have just added this but it was such a long episode and I wanted to keep certain things in so this is just eh, at best I, I, honestly I should have did this first before I did anything else and that's my mistake but I'm gonna take this time out anyway just to say thank you you know this is my thank you episode to everyone since this is my big blunder and my fault I'm going to take 20 minutes to say thank you to every single person who's ever helped me. I can't give out any names, but I can describe them. Uh, I usually talk about comics and stuff like that, but in this episode, this is just a thank you episode. Honestly, just me. I guess you can, it's technically, is it called vlogging? I am so old. I don't know. Blogging, vlogging, I don't know. I can't, I, I'll have to understand that later. And you can tell how old I am. But honestly, this is like my first time ever in in my period of life ever decided to do anything like this when it comes to video games and recording. Like I saw Ghost Robo do it, and I saw Rad Brad and 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 Tantra Ninja. And much respect to, to Angry Joe and the Angry Joe Army. Look at that. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Ah, uh, airstrike. Anyway. Um. But, um, yeah, this is my first time ever trying to do something like this, and I didn't think I was ever going to do it. So, since this is my blunder, my mess, my mistake, should have put this first before I did anything else, because of whatever, I'm going to dedicate this to every fan, person that is, person that is, eh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm going to dedicate this episode to every person that ever helped me, every um, person never had to deal, deal with me and, and deal with my trials and tribulations this is my thank you to you um, I can't give out any names unfortunately uh, just out of respect and I don't also don't want to get sued anytime because those friendships might die um, I'm just going to describe them the best way I know how without giving out any personal information that had to hurt like a dog and um, just say thank you. Uh, where to start? Um, well, off the bat, um, oh so animated. You up first, bro. Man, I, I want to really say thank you personally. Uh, you helped me out more ways than one, man. I didn't know anybody in St. Louis was doing what, what, what I'm doing now. And I know your subscribers are, are climbing through the roof. Actually, I'm going to look him up right now and see how many subscribers he has. Um, to see if his subscribers have grown since last time. Uh, I'm not honestly sure. Because I have not seen... I mean, I, most of the time when I'm on YouTube, for the most part, I'm basically just trying to kill time. Honestly. I am honestly trying to kill time. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. So, and I'm right now not getting any... Yeah. I'm loving this show already because I, right now, at this point in time, have no uh, bars. <laughs> so I can't even get the internet right now, even though I'm on the internet right now. I just don't feel like trying to mess with my computer because I got it set up in a certain way. Now I don't want to mess this up. So, please watch Oh So Animated uh, uh, um, podcast. I mean, his, his vlogs, his, you know, the time I think he went to. Uh, he went to Comic Con, you know what I'm saying? I mean, the whole nine yards. Please watch his stuff. You know, I thrive on success, and that is an success. That is success to me. You know what I'm saying? Be able to go to uh, Comic Con and, and, and to live life. Uh, if it wasn't for him, man, I mean, we had a conversation back and forth, and I had to visit him again and maybe, you know, give a present or something like that, or, or just to show my respect and thank you. You know what I'm saying? Because this this dude man I mean he, he he put me on game you know what I'm saying like he really showed me like how you know, to, you know try to be consistent with your videos from coming from you know using your phone to you know getting an Elgato HD to you know that whole nine yards man I mean he explained the whole thing like when I didn't have it 
that's all I did. You know what I'm saying? So much respect to him. I mean, the, this is money well spent to me. This is my calming point. So much respect. Much thank you so much. Also oh, animated. Please keep putting out those videos. Keep doing your thing, man. And much love. Um, I guess the second person I want to give. Uh, I want to. Uh, give a thumbs up to was uh, my boy G Guru. He was on the show a while back. I don't know if he was on. Yeah, there you go. Uh, he was on, I think, Prototype. I pushed the car. Uh, and he, you know, he's been, man, he's been a, a phenomenal, 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 phenomenal person. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that, 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 if people don't know, that's my brother, man. And, I mean, he's not. He's not my blood brother, but he's my brother, you know what I'm saying? Brother and, like, my positive brother, and he, man, he just, you know, he's, he's, had, he's had my back since day one, you know what I'm saying? So, he's been really, you know, making sure that, you know, I stay on the positive tip so I don't move stuff out the way. Uh, and he always tries to, you know, lift, lift, lift my spirits up when I'm feeling like crap, you know what I'm saying? I mean... It's not the easiest thing in the world to try to be, you know, positive all the time. And, yo, during my, during the worst parts of my life, honestly, he was right there carrying me along, you know what I'm saying? Say, come on, man, you can be positive, man. You can, you can get it done, man. You, you, you can, you know, you can do better with your life, man. You know what I'm saying? Keep your chin up, you know, and all that good stuff. So, honestly, much respect, much thank you. Thank him so much, man. Because, like, honestly, I couldn't even be positive without his 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 um, assistance. No, forget it. Just call it in. Without him, him kicking my butt sometimes, like, bro, get up, go be positive, go do right in your life, you know, and go take care of business. You know, it's the reason why, like, like we always nick nickname each other. You know, we will and get right. You know, what I'm saying, but not the, the, the get right with drugs. I mean, get right as in. You know, get the business done. You know, take care of business and stuff like that. He was always Mr. Positive. I was always, you know, technical person. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I mean, man, I, I can remember so many times that, um, yeah, I was in a horrible place. Like, really horrible place. And I did not, man, it, it's, it's so hard to just try to put in the words, man. I mean, just... From where I was to where I'm at now, man, I, man, I, I could tear up. I don't care if, they, if people take this the wrong way. I could tear up thinking about how many times, you know what I'm saying, I've been, I've been in, so, in, such a, in such a horrible place. And he's right there like, come on, man. Get up, bro. It's going to be all right. Everything's going to be fine. So, yo, I love you, bro. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? That's my brother. You know what I'm saying? Brother from a different mother. Much respect to him, much honor to his family. You know what I'm saying? He got, he got a son, you know what I'm saying? Taking care of his son, taking care of his responsibilities, man. Hardworking man, you know. And, um, man, just, whoo, man, to just, man, he, 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 he's a cool dude, man. And, uh, I, I hope that his, his family, you know, you know, y'all, y'all better show him some love, man. You know what I'm saying? His brothers and stuff like that in arms, show him some love, because, I mean, you know, he, you know he, now he's hitting up the gym like crazy, working out. You know what I'm saying? Probably can beat me in push-ups now. So, uh, much respect and much honor. You know I'm saying? Um, I have another friend. I can't, you know, say his name because never had the A-OK -okay to do so. So, you know, uh, man, like, how can I say this? Um, he's very business-minded. And even though he has his drawbacks, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to when it comes to certain physical attributes, the man is is so business oriented, and we talk about business anytime we get around each other. Like, you know what I'm saying? And um, I wish I had a nickname for him, but I don't. <laughs> Oh uh, man, I mean, he does have a nickname, but I'm not going to use it. So for this podcast, I think I'm just going to call him Wizzle. Honestly, he's a, he's a white guy. I'm not going to front. He's a, he's a white guy, pretty cool guy. You know, has a physical element, element, 
that you would figure that most people would, would crumble under, he succeeds over it, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, the way his mind works and, and, and the way that, you know, he, he can be positive, but he can also be straightforward like I am. And I learned to, to kind of keep a balance between being business-oriented facts and then being positive, you know what I'm saying? And he kept me balanced that way, you know? And anytime we would talk, I said, hey, man, I don't understand this business term. Can you explain it to me? Or can we, you know, traverse and, and talk about, you know, whether it's real estate or, or podcasting or, you know, the way the, my, my voice needs to be or, you know, just different things, different avenues of, of, of like politics or beliefs and stuff like that. And we can come to each other for, for, come to each other in, in an honest way that is not disrespectful to one another. Like, if he had a question that he wanted to ask me, even if it's about, literally, about anything, you know, whether it's the, 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 the vicious N-word that, that people use, that people, black folks have used, I say, come on, let's talk. Let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's one of the people where, if I was on a team of, like, playing uh, cards against humanity, I want him on my team because I said I don't care what gets said on this card, you finna dominate. You know what I'm saying? Because you know he can say anything and be like, "Hey, look, it is what it is." You know, keep the truth what you know, keep the truth what truth need to be at. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but you know, yeah, um, I remember one time, and I'll, I'll I'll end this real quick. I remember one time we was at uh, Anime, right? And he wasn't one of the he wasn't one of the guys in the videos on my channel. But uh, he, we, we were practicing something. I think we, we, were, we were sparring one. You know, honestly, we were, we were sparring. You know what I'm saying? Just kidding around. You know what I'm saying? Nothing serious. And, you know, surprisingly, he always get the upper hand one way or another. You know what I'm saying? Much respect to him. So, anyway, he would work out. And because of physical ailment, you know, he couldn't, you know, stand straight up. You know what I mean? Like normal people. You know what I'm saying? Or do a normal push-up like normal people. So, he would get up. And uses other muscles and gets and and he did this like weird looking push up that only he could do. I looked at it and said, you know what? From here on out, I ain't got no complaints. I'm gonna work my butt off and not complain about my arms, my legs, my feet hurting or anything. Like, nope, I ain't doing it. I don't care if he can do it. I can do it. That's just the way it is. Get it done with and over with and call it a day. Stop moaning and groaning. Stop BSing. Get the job done and call it a day. You know what I mean? So much respect to him. You know what I'm saying? Wisdom. I'm calling you Wisdom. I don't care what other nickname you got. Your name is Wisdom from here on out. You know what I'm saying? I'm sending this video straight to you. When you, you know, when you, when you hear it, you better, you know what I'm saying? You know, you bet you better acknowledge your name from here on out. <laughs> so much respect to him. Um Wow. Um right off the bat though. My next person, it has to be my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Because without my daughter, honestly, I wouldn't do this. You know, I mean, literally, I, I wouldn't do this. Not because it's, you know she likes comics like I do, but it's so awesome that she does. Or and she does anime and stuff like that. Honestly, now I'm making this real short because my time's running out. Um, she's my drive. Honestly and truthfully, she is my drive to to want to be a better person. And no matter, you know, what gets said or what gets, you know, mentioned or whatever, she's my drive. She will always be my drive, you know. And she makes me work hard <laughs> for, you know, for her. It's all about her. So, much, I, I, mean, I love my daughter. Man, man, more than she'll ever know. You know what I'm saying? That, that's my heart. And, uh, man, even though I don't get a chance to see her all the time, I love her so much, and maybe one, you know, one of these days when she gets older, she sees, she sees this video, um, she'll know that I love her, I care about her so much, and I would want the best for her, and, uh, yeah, I mean, what else need to be said, right, you know, <laughs> um, yeah, thank you for just being you, if, if, if that's all I can get, I, I'm, I'm blessed and, and blessed and highly favored, so, um, man, so many people. Um, oh my god. <laughs> uh, to my group of friends, I'm gonna group them all together. 
to my group of friends who dealt with me through the good times, the bad times, every time, all the time. The smartest ones, the silly ones, the serious ones, the ones that don't need to be serious, the, the factual ones, all the ones that, you know what I'm saying, that are in my circle. I love you guys. I respect you guys. You know what I'm saying? I mean, man, just wow. You know what I'm saying? If the stuff we the stuff we've been through, both good, good and bad, man, it just man. Sometimes it makes you tear up, but when you're real, you know, when you're real friends, even with their imperfect ways, still have your back. It does mean something to you. You know what I'm saying? So much respect. I love you guys. I care about you guys. I'm hoping for the best for you guys. You know what I'm saying? Get some back right. You know what I'm saying? Much love to you. And you know, you know who you are. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, especially my, I will give props to a specific one in the group. You know what I'm saying? Who saved my life in in a specific way that man, I, I need to work my butt off to pay that person back. So yeah, much respect to you. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, you literally saved my life. Residential wise, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, so yeah, you know what I'm saying? Much respect, much respect. Um, uh, let's see. Well, um, the next thing, uh, I mean, so many people I would love to mention, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, my folks at work, you know what I'm saying? Especially a, a certain person, you know, a certain co worker. Much respect to you. Love you, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, hey, always good friends. Much respect to you. Um, yeah, I know I'm, I'm missing a whole bunch of action, but honestly, it's just grind. But um, yeah, you know, uh, my mom, my dad, I love you guys. Uh, you know, my brother. Oh my god, man, I could go years and there wouldn't be enough to say thank you to him. I modeled my life after that man, whether he likes it or not. You know what I'm saying? He is the definition of a good man, and he will always be my definition of a, good, of a good man. My brother, my brother, my brother, my actual brother. You know what I'm saying? Uh, his son just graduated from high school. He has a wonderful family. Love him so much, man. Love him so much. I tear up all the time, man, when I see him. So, hey, it is what it is. Probably going to send this to him and get in so much trouble for it. Um... I my I have an uncle who just passed away, and honestly speaking, you know he you know he he showed me what a man is. He, he really did in, in in a certain way. He, he showed me what 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 real men do, not what you know the the, the prideful man do, does, or what you know. He showed me what real men were, you know. He was one of the only few people who actually told me, real men do cry. Because if you don't, you know, you're going to have that poison in you, you know what I'm saying? Real men cry. And he showed me so many different lessons by doing them and showing me instead of just telling me all the time. You know what I'm saying? My uncle, you know, I just came from his funeral and, uh, you know, it, uh, oh man, I wish I could just tell him thank you so many so many times, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to tip on this, on this podcast, you know what I'm saying? Just talking about him, you know, just, it, it, sometimes it hurts, but I love him so much, man. He was, he meant so much to me, man. So much to me, you know. Um, wow. Um, I'm probably going to talk through this Kingpin thing, so I'm going to be honest with you. It is what it is. Um, Oh boy, uh, I love him so much, and it is what it is, and that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? To destroy some power. Um, good. To uh, big, to my girl, to my mild. girlfriend right now. You know? Yeah, like you. When I say support mm. is an understatement, it is an understatement, you know, Adrian, and not from a, from a financial standpoint. You, you know what I'm saying? Yes. I mean, from that, you need times, to get up sure. and get and go to Does work. You need to, you know what I'm saying? You're I'm smarter than who you team. are. We're both talking about you can take Adrian care of business. Too, yeah? This is what you're doing Old right now. You know what I'm saying? Like showing city, you what kind me. of person you really are. You're you know what I'm saying? Like she shows you what kind of person I am. Unstable. She showed me. You know, uh, and um, man, I mean, something. 
Some days I think about it and think it's like, man, I, I, when last we spoke, you know, if it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't be so focused. I wouldn't be so, you know, dead on, you know, dead on my dream. You know what I'm saying? Make it sound um, like it was your idea to go bust him yeah, out of prison. I do care about her lover, so world. it is what it is on that. Um, no, I'm pretty sure I thought And she's and the right surprising thing is she showed me how smart I was when she took my advice, took my advice and took care of business in a certain way. Uh, I talked business wise into your and blew my mind. I made so all of much respect happen. and love for I, her. I you know what I'm saying? Callisto. Yeah, I'm talking about you. So <sighs> well, but anyway, this is my thank you video. Thank you guys. Thank the fans. Thank everybody. This is Chaos Rippers signing out saying thank you, thank you, thank you. Much respect, much love. Have a wonderful and blessed day.